Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. Today we are going to talk about another new game which is cracked by MNSXX. And this time the game is Recur Definitive Edition. So, what do you get this game then? To get this game, you have to go to the site called skidrewreloaded.com. I have already opened the game page here, so I will provide you this direct link so you guys can come to this page directly. Here you can see the details about this game, it is about 16.9 GB as the site mentioned, but it's not the actual size, I think. I think it's a little bit smaller. But here you see there are many direct download links and few torrent links. These direct download links are not ISO, they are all RAR files. You need to just extract, then you will get the files like that will be shown on my video. Okay, so this is the minimum requirement. You need Windows 10. I don't know about uh, the only Windows 10 requirement. All I know that you at least need Windows 10 Anniversary Edition, which is 16 or 7 or higher editions. Okay, so now let me show you how to install this game. So here you can see these are the files from the torrent link I have downloaded from. So let me show you what the how to install text says here. So people have tested it in this Windows 10 latest version which is 1803. Okay, so there is a issue with uh, Microsoft update. Recently they pushed a new security update which stops the code extract from working on some systems. Okay, not all. Okay, they mentioned that here. So, to find out whether you have that update installed on your PC, you need to just go to the Cortana search or from the start menu, you can also search it like Windows Update. Okay, when you are typing for Windows Update, so you can just type it all. Okay, go to Windows Update settings. Okay, click on view update history. So from here you can check whether that exact update is installed on your PC or not. So here you see last night I got this update. Okay, this update which is mentioned here in the text file KB 42.84.83.5 which is this one. So I will have to uninstall it or I might have some issue. But since this is all pieces are not affected, but I will definitely uninstall it because I won't take any chance with it. Okay, to uninstall it, just click on this uninstall update, and here you will find that update like this. I think it's the, this one. Okay, this is the one I see. So I will just uninstall this update. If you don't want to uninstall this way, you can just run the CMD window and then type this command. Wait until it finishes and then reboot. Okay. So let me see whether I have been given the option to reboot or not. So I will just wait and see. Okay, so I have been the, given the option to restart my PC or reboot so I will just come back after the reboot and follow up with rest of the installation video okay guys we are now back again after restart so now let's just install it <coughs> so to start installing you need to go to this folder Microsoft record and blah 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 it's written here <coughs> So once you enter that folder, you should see this install app. Before opening the install app, make sure that you have developer modes enabled. To enable developer mode, just type in for developers like that. It should appear and open it. And here you see this is the developer mode I have enabled. So make sure that this is clicked here not in some other one like sideload or microsoft app so if you see any installing or downloading option written here 
let it download and install wait for some moment after it's done you are good to use the install app feature okay so let me just close it now and now let me just open this install app so it says something like this registering universal app failed cannot install because something is missing yes something is definitely missing which is not actually mentioned here okay so the thing missing is actually you need to install this microsoft.net native runtime setup just open it install these two version of native framework first install 1.3 version okay just press install okay it stays ready let me just try to install 1.4 okay that's also ready now let me just go back to the record folder again now i am going to try the install app once again so here you see registering universal app done okay this means the installation is successful though it says registering any existing dlc packages failed that's is, that's also mentioned here so here here it says uh, app registered and if you receive any error you might have to ignore it okay you may ignore this registering failed like that so that's it the installation is successful if you see this done message this is the most important part if you see this done message it's done okay so now you have to manually close the command window now you have to run your game from the start menu okay you must start it from the start menu so search for record okay here you see this is the record just open it so there is the splash screen okay the game went to full screen mode i guess windowed full screen because when you hover your mouse on the top of the screen you should see a bar that's why the windows store games are not fully full screen okay they are mostly windowed full screen or windowed mode okay so we are about to enter the main menu right now so this is where you need to choose a folder where the game will keep your save files okay currently default set is on your document so you need to still select a folder you can just create a folder new folder here then you can choose that new folder i have already tested with one folder before so i'm going to choose that one which is this one so just create one and select save data folder just click here so there just press enter and set up what it says okay Far Eden. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Go on, Mac. It's over there. But if anyone could set things right, Jewel, I knew it would be you. Okay. We're looking for a power source. It's the only way we're going to get our crawler back online. Do you have... Then let's track it down. Yep, my exoframe is working fine. Thrusters are recharging just like they should. There, an opening at the top of the cliff. That's 
our way in. Scavenger core bites. Bot frames. Looks like the scavenger bots have picked them clean. Way to the top. Lead the way, Mac. Most people on Earth looked at images of Far Eden and saw nothing but rocks and sand. But some of us saw a future paradise. Careful, boy. It's a long way down. Huh. Looks like this door is missing its power cell bot. The little guy must be around here somewhere. back to your socket. should be on the other side of this door. Try that again. Mac. 
I got you, buddy. <laughs> Try and be more careful. We're not gonna find many friendly bots in here. Spider frames! I think we woke up a whole hive. More damage. Do that. Did you see their frames, Mac? They were all... corroded. I don't like it either, but we need to keep going. Okay guys, I hope that's enough for the gameplay test right now. And I also hope that you guys will enjoy the game more than I do. So if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a dislike, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome upcoming videos. Thank you everyone. Yeah.